Although sweet potato can produce food in just three months, it is difficult for farmers in dry regions to obtain enough vines to plant at the start of seasonal rains. Failure to take advantage of the full growing season reduces overall sweet potato yields and access to food when it is needed most. The CGIAR's International Potato Center, SEP, is thus promoting an innovative seed system method known as Triple S for storing roots in sand and sprouting, which enables farmers to produce planting material when they need it. So, how does Triple S work? At harvest time, farmers select healthy sweet potatoes to store in layers of dry sand over the dry season, which usually lasts three to four months, but can last up to seven months in some countries. Farmers check them occasionally and remove any rotten ones. Six to eight weeks before the onset of rains, the sweet potatoes, which have sprouted, are planted in irrigated beds to produce vines for early rain-fed planting. This makes nutritious food available sooner to farmer households and increases yields. About 100 medium-sized sweet potatoes can produce enough vines to yield five tons of sweet potato enough to nourish a household until other crops are ready to harvest with a surplus available to sell. Early planting allows early harvest during the hungry period when granaries have been depleted and other crops are still growing. So farmers can get double the normal price for their sweet potatoes. Triple S allows farmers to stagger their plantings, further increasing overall production and availability. Triple S farmers can also sell excess vines, another way to supplement their incomes. The Triple S Innovation Package builds the foundation for seed system resilience in the face of climate change. It delivers the knowledge and practices farmers need to sustainably maintain and multiply their sweet potato planting material. The Triple S Package is tailored to the needs of female farmers and resource-poor households in rural and peri-urban areas with extended dry seasons. Through demonstration plots, farmer-to-farmer -farmer learning, and videos and radio shows in local languages, tens of thousands of farmers have been reached in 10 countries across Africa. This successful approach is being used to take triple A's to scale so that more families benefit from this highly productive, nutritious crop.